What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7, Smile 2, A Quiet Place Day 1, and the Halloween TV series. Now, just to start off here with Scream 7. This is just a rumor. It's not confirmed. But from what I've heard, Nev Campbell and Kevin Williamson had been, or may still be, determined to make sure Sydney's arc is appropriate for the character. Now, does hearing that make me feel any better about Sydney's return? Not really, but at least one of my comfort characters has the two most important people in relation to her trying to ensure that she gets what she deserves when it comes to another presence on screen in this ongoing franchise. I can't be too excited, one, because what they end up delivering could be something I end up disagreeing with altogether, as could you. Uh, I'm not one of those type of fans who say, well, if the creator is on board with it then the creator is right no the creator can be wrong you very much so could be in disagreement with the creator i have all the respect in the world for kevin williamson but that doesn't mean that because of what he decided on to do with sydney is going to be what i agree you should have done with sydney in a lot of ways while i can commend him for what he had cooked up for that scream 4 trilogy i wouldn't have had sydney in the background i would have just taken her out of the franchise altogether allowed her to have some peace and gone on about it that way now granted he did say that in the sixth movie she would have had some wedding or something trying to decide if the man she's marrying was just like billy and if she's making the same mistakes yada 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 but in that fifth film where she's supposed to be going through amnesia and working as a college professor or something on jill's campus no i would have taken her out of the script altogether so nev allegedly when it comes to this scream seven wasn't completely sold on the arc for Sydney, and I'd assume this would be prior to her giving comments that the story is good at that recent con event where she was like, it's really good and they had to pitch it to me. Or she could have meant everything else is good, but we still need to work on Sydney's story. Roger L. Jackson also recently jokingly said at a Niagara Falls Comic Con sit down a couple weeks ago that Scream 7 is his favorite because it means he's still working. I've been tipped off that some are taking this as confirmation that he'd be back. But of course, Mojo Jojo is going to come back. What else is Mojo Jojo up to? He's not doing anything. Never doubt in my mind or anyone else's mind that Roger would say no. Ghostface will be back. Not shocking. Jumping into Smile 2. Smile 2 is rumored to feature a massive Scream alumni in the cast for a brief cameo. And yes, for those who have cracked the code, it's them. And for those who haven't, you'll be surprised if you don't go searching for the answer or read my comment section or go looking through my tweets on Twitter. Now, based on the trailer... It is evident that Sky, the pop star played by Naomi Scott, is stressed out. She's juggling fame. She's also juggling a tragedy similar to what Rose was dealing with in the first film and this upcoming musical tour she's supposed to go on. I've also heard that the film is rumored to be not too long after the first movie happens, after those events take place. Kyle Gowner also still has a pretty significant role in the story, so don't worry about that. And the opening sequence allegedly is way more action-packed way more intense way more bit of an urgency to it than what you got in that first movie that's all i will say on smile 2 you guys can let me know if you're looking forward to smile 2 down in the comment section below now i'm gonna jump into talking about a quiet place day one so a quiet place day one is out this friday and a featurette dropped a few days ago to confirm a bit of information i reported late last year and that is the fact that Lupita Nyong'o's character of Sammy has a unique set of circumstances that set them apart from everyone else. Those aren't my own words, but rather the words of John Krasinski when describing the character's plans for Sammy when he was speaking during this featurette. All I can say at the moment due to embargo is that if you saw what I tweeted about Lupita's role in November as it pertains to this movie, then you know exactly what her circumstances are. And they are the kind of circumstances that immediately stood out to me because I've been there with loved ones. And the the fact, the circumstances of what she's dealing with, they're just not fun times. They're not fun times at all. If you saw the tweet of what it was, then you know what it is. It's not fun times at all to be going through something like that. I'm already seeing a lot of initial praise for this film and its characters. And I knew this would happen because while Lupita's circumstances hit a little closer to home for me, Joseph has a beautiful set of struggles to deal with in this movie as well. And then you combine all of that with an apocalypse set in the Acquired Place universe that we've gotten with those first two movies from John Krasinski. You have a home run on your hands. It's just a very good character story. 
And I cannot wait to upload my review on Thursday morning. And I know that so many people are going to love these characters when you meet them this week. If you're someone who's getting a chance to watch this movie tomorrow, I cannot wait for you to experience it. I've been excited for people to experience these two characters the minute I found out what this story was. Because the story just pulled at my heartstrings. And I cannot wait to see this movie tomorrow night. Last thing I'm going to talk about here is the Halloween TV series. So the Halloween TV series... Rumored bits have come out from Fandom Empire, who was on a roll at one point during the David Gordon Green trilogy for correct information, but they did stress that this, of course, is not confirmation of anything that's actually going to happen with the TV show, because, of course, this is still in very early development. We haven't heard anything about a showrunner or anything official from any reputable trades, so they did make it clear that this is just rumored information that they trust. Allegedly, the Halloween TV series could be taking the approach of this halloween returns if you remember that storyline in the film that almost was that we never got it could be halloween returns just in television format now i've done a video recapping that storyline but i recall not minding that concept overall there were bits about it that i would have changed and also quite a few bits about it that i thought were really good so if it does end up being halloween returns 2.0 I'm open to it, especially because of the door it opens for us to see Dr. Loomis one more time. But that is really all I had to say on Halloween and where we are with those rumored bits of information. I think at one point during the live stream, Fandom Empire made mention of the fact that it allegedly also is taking place after the first film, which I think we've heard from the reputable trades. So we'll just see if any of this ends up being true, if it does indeed go down the Halloween Returns approach. If you're someone who is very familiar with that screenplay and was disappointed that we did not get to see that screenplay come to life, this might make you very excited, make you very much so someone who's looking forward to seeing how the Halloween Returns story could be adapted to television format. Because again, just from off my memory, the story, I don't recall being that bad. I could be misconstruing it with another one of those countless scrapped ideas, but I do not recall the concept of Halloween Turns being something I was just like, ew, get that out of here. I recall it being decent, if not probably good. It's just been a while since I've looked up that story, gathered the details. I don't recall the Halloween Returns concept being bad. And if you're someone who, again, is very familiar with it, this might excite you. But we'll just have to wait and see if any of this ends up being true. Because that Halloween TV show is still months, years away. Hopefully, right around the corner, we'll get some news. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.